Welcome to Healthy Point of View Podcast, where we explore the latest trends and topics in health and wellness. Whether you're looking for tips on nutrition, fitness, mental health, or anything in between, we've got you covered. Join us as we chat with experts, share stories, and learn how to live a healthier and happier life. Welcome to another episode of a Healthy Point of View Podcast. I'm your host, Sam Tejada. And today we have a fantastic episode that we're going to be talking about. I've been waiting for this one. We have fitness expert Danny Pham with D Fit. Danny, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, brother? All right. <laughs> so, so Danny, I've known you for a long time, almost since like high school. Yeah, you know? over a decade. We used to compete together, you know, NPC bodybuilding and all that stuff, and um. I was excited about doing this podcast because there's been a lot of things cooking in the whole health and wellness industry, specifically on my side, the functional medicine side, where I've actually talked to some other experts in in the industry that are talking about how do we tap into personal trainers to actually understand more of the functional medicine side and integrate it together. So the other day, you and I, you know, we always have these random conversations on the phone to see what's going on and how do we, you know, best position our businesses, um, especially because we're so close to, to each other. We work together on a lot of stuff. And I was telling you about, um, you know, a very close contact of mine with Muscle and Fitness Plus, um, Rob Fletcher, who's the host. I was actually on his podcast and, you know, you and I were talking about that. And we're actually thinking about uh, really launching this whole program where we're working with personal trainers, you know, not just these regular personal trainers that are at these big, uh, you know, big box gyms. We're talking about personal trainers that have this extra level of exercise science, you know, that are very educated in getting them to really understand the functional medicine side. And and the, the, the interesting thing is when he started talking to me about this and we're having this conversation, um, the thing that, he, that I brought up to him, I says, Rob, I'm already doing it. Mm-hmm. And I got the expert who's making it happen, which is my boy, Danny Fan. Nice. So, so you and I talked about that. So, you know, I really wanted to do this podcast so we can have the listeners really understand, like we have a lot of doctors that purchase the liquid the product over 4,000 doctors throughout the nation that I always try to figure out how do they optimize their business to really take it to the next level and give their clients the best course of treatments. So I'll, I want you to introduce yourself, kind of let people know your background, your education, and um, a little bit of uh, you know, how you and I connected when you were training me. You know, go yeah, ahead. Do definitely, your thing, man. Yeah, no, I appreciate you having me on. It's definitely a pleasure to be here. Um, so yeah, my background has been in athletics, sports and athletics. Um, growing up, I grew up in New Jersey. Uh, play everything under the sun, you know, soccer, basketball, football, baseball, uh, always active, always into health, always into being strong, feeling strong, um, you know, kind of fast forward, you know, high school, 15, 16, moved here, um, and I was kind of a no one, you know, everybody had their own posses here, everybody had their own cliques and groups, and I kind of need to establish myself. Uh, as a young man, but just kind of as a, you know, individual trying to make it in this world, of course. And, you know, my passion at the time was in baseball. And so I tried out, you know, for the varsity baseball team at Stillman Douglas High School. Um, wow. So I played varsity baseball there for four years. Uh, very successful there. Uh, all throughout, you know, the journey there was all about, you know, health, fitness, lifting weights, nutrition, recovery. Right. And, and all that kind of spoke to me you know aside from athletics that was i knew that was my passion that was my that was the fire that kind of got me up every day to want to be better at baseball or want to be better at athletics so my purpose always you know derived from you know fitness and health overall um graduating after high school i knew i didn't you know i knew being a professional athlete is, um, you know, if you're not in the top two or three percent, it's not the easiest thing. It's not the, it's a, you know, it's a great dream when you're a kid and right. you kind of grow up and you realize that, you know, you got to kind of have to have something else. You know, that, is, that backup plan. Yeah. Right. Baseball is not going to be forever. Sports aren't forever. And, you know, I kind of looked into personal training and, you know, immediately gravitated towards it. Um, you know, I got a very entry level certification to start. And, 
about two or three weeks later, I enrolled into um, FAU, Florida Atlantic, to study exercise science and health promotion. Um, studied that for five years there, Florida Atlantic. Uh, graduated there, and during my um, during my year, my third or four years at the end of college, I opened up BFIT training. Right, and, what right up, right? Yeah. Okay. So initially it was, I was training people in their backyards. I was training people in their garage. I was training people in their, at the park. I was getting Just everybody together. Yeah. yeah. Bringing my band of band, bag of bands and opening up the trunk and we were, we were on. Um, and here even, there was like a gym in a White House Point too then. Yep. Because I remember that, one of the guys at the firehouse, yeah. you, you helped them with this first bodybuilding, yep. uh, Craig Ford. Yep, Craig Ford. And, and, yeah, and yeah. I remember it was like, man, this, this gym was like, it was beat up. Grungy. Yeah. 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 But that's what most bodybuilders like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's actually at the probably the point in time we met. Right. Uh, the bodybuilding scene. You were at LA Fitness in Cobra Creek. Right. The whole crew was there. The club. LA Fitness. Yeah. Like a nightclub. Oh, yeah. Right. Lions Row. I'll never forget <laughs> yeah. that place. Um, and then from there, yeah, just, again, stepping stone or, you know, kind of a bucket list with the bodybuilding thing and men's physique, I'm sure you can right. attest to. Uh, you you were actually, I, you know, when I got in, it was still new. You were like one of the first ones. Yep. That's when they launched the whole thing with the board shorts. And I was, at that point, I was on the fireman's calendar, everything else, and my legs were not that great. So I, I told myself, I was like, wow, I could actually yeah. compete. <laughs> I, I can't hang with those chicken legs, you know? I tried, man. I That's did funny. try to work out the legs, but... That's awesome. You know, one of the things that, you know, when I decided to start training with you, uh, this was uh, right before COVID, mm -hmm. um, you know, the thing that really made me realize you're the trainer and the expert that I need to work with is your education level. I'm not just understanding exercise and the movements, but actually understanding like the body's me mechanics, the body's biochemistry with your education in exercise science. Um, you know, through the years of me being in the wellness industry and working with a lot of different wellness coordinators, qualified wellness coordinators, I knew that you knew things at a whole nother level, which that's one of the things that I truly appreciated. And, um, you know, when I made that decision to start actually working out with you, and I remember the first session, we were like inside of the studio, Right, that's a, yeah, well, a spot in the 300 gym. square foot spot, and <laughs> you're like, All right, you're gonna be jumping on this. And I, it looked like I was doing like some James Fonda type of stuff, you know. And I said, like, Man, what did I just sign up for? This is like for pregnant women type of deal. And I left out of there the first day, and I remember sending you one of those little gif things, yeah, well, and it was just like the 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 little uh, uh thing, my legs were ready to give out. It was like a little like giraffe that yeah. was gonna fall. And I said, like, Man, he just beat me up, whatever this like exercise that I thought was like for pregnant women, um, I'm going to keep on going. So um, what I want to do is kind of dive a little bit deeper about the type of exercise that you specialize in this functional training. Because you utilize a lot of different bands, T-Rex, the T -T -T -Rex, the TRX, like TRX yeah. mm -hmm. uh, bands. Um, and, and you had me doing all kinds of different positions and hitting muscles that I didn't, I had no clue I even had muscles in those areas. Mm -hmm. So what made you get into that type of training? It's a great question. So kind of coming from the bodybuilding world, kind of inside looking out, I'm seeing guys, 50 year old, 60 year old, um, arthritis, bursitis, just any, every kind of pain and ailment, their posture was horrible. They could barely tie their shoes. They can't, you know, they can't reach their back. They can't and barely move you know? right. and they're young relatively speaking and just kind of like unpeeling the onion just the intensity of the training that they were at their bodies just were not able to withstand that kind of lower that kind of intensity based on the foundation that they lacked okay so a lot of the single leg movement or you know reach and touch the comb on one leg and try right. to keep the hips square the little you know little movements like that tell a large story tell a large picture so I can, we can't expect to lift heavier or, you know, go under a squat bar if our shoulders don't have the range of motion to hold the bar, support the bar. Right. If our shoulders don't have the range of motion, then our back immediately compensates and it just trickles down into an injury. So you do that day over day, week over week, you know, year over year, over time, you know, your, your body is in shambles. It's just shot. So coming from 
kind of an exercise science background, knowing how the muscles activate, where they origin or uh, originate, where they insert, uh, how they move, how they respond to exercise, the physiological benefits, everything, you know, really made me understand that less is more in the right. gym. There's right. so much more that can be done by just doing less. You're, you're, I, and I remember you telling me that this here I should go up and higher weight. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. This is more weight doesn't mean that you're going to get better results. Mm -hmm. Actually, you potentially might get an injury Definitely. going with higher weight. And uh, I remember you telling me, just trust me, go through this, make sure your form is right, we're building up your core. And three months after we started training, man, I got shredded. <laughs> I got shredded. I mean, oh, the, we the have before some before and after. Yeah, I got before and yeah, after. And, and you know, I remember people in the gym say, yo, what are you doing? But when you see what I'm doing, yeah. we're run, running around here with Danny. Um, and, and, you know, I, I feel like you specializing in a lot of these different type of exercises, right. That don't require all of these big machines and everything else is one of the reasons why you were able to survive the, the whole COVID epidemic yeah. business wise, right. When yeah. you went and started doing the online training and whatnot, you know, who has all this equipment at home? Yeah. yeah. There's a few of these wealthy people out there that have all this machinery, but you know, you were able to take with your clients that were already doing these type of trainings and get them to, to, you know, do it at home, you know, with, which is a few bands and everything else, you know, mm -hmm. what, what do you say? That's right. With yeah, the definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, we were using gallon of waters for uh, bicep curls and deadlifts. Wow. Um, yeah. I mean, we just, we had them, you know, do what we could with what right. we had. Um, and we knew it was something that needed to be done. We couldn't just let our health fall, you know, to the backside, although, the first couple of weeks were nice, you know, with no structure, no rigid uh, schedules. But um, yeah, you know, if you're a good trainer or you're a good coach, but you understand how the body moves specifically, you can you can get a workout in, in a closet. Right. And you right. know, respectfully speaking, you don't need a lot to to really to work your to work your muscle and to achieve results. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, throughout that that process of you doing this type of training. I've noticed you've also been able to educate and train a lot of these trainers that want to take their training skills to the next yeah. level. And um, throughout the years, I've seen you've had a variety of trainers come in through the door. You know, a lot of them get educated by you, work for you. And then, you know, some of them, just like in my business, they, they, they want to grow their wings and fly on their own, yeah. which I think is a beautiful thing, yeah. right? Because, um, all you know, we're, we're entrepreneurs, so we're not going to be stuck with any, any, you know, with anyone forever. So you've been able to develop some really good quality trainers, which now you even have, you know, even more new ones mm -hmm. where you're at that's yeah. in the liquid beta. Yep. So um, how is that process bringing on uh, new trainers that don't have the expertise in your style of training and being able to take them through the process and get them to, to be able to do what we fit sure. So it's a great question. Also, I, Initially, look for the intangibles, things you can't teach, things you can't buy, things you can't borrow. Are you respectful? Are you hardworking? Are you punctual? Are you, you know, is your attitude and your mindset in a healthy environment to help others become healthy? If all, if certain things aren't aligned, then I don't, you know, I kind of don't even look through the resume as far as how many years of experience you've had or who you've worked for or under. At the end of the day, it's a personal business, right? It's a personal service. If your member is coming into the door and they don't, you don't have that rapport and you don't have that connection, um, you know, they could care less about your expertise for right. the most part. Um, so going to your question about the process, that's one of the first things, you know, coming, you know, whether it be a phone interview or, you know, in person, just having a, kind of an open question and answer, you know, conversation like we are now. Um, understand that they do have the qualities and the characteristics that we're looking for in our business model and, you know, taking it to the next step, kind of unpacking the, um, you know, I'm feeling the onion and understanding, you know, what their goals are for the future. Right. Do they want, is this a career or is it a hobby? You know, because if it's not a career and you're not immersed in the industry, it's, it's, it's just not a good fit. Yeah, it's not, just not really really close. Back. Yeah. Right. Um, and are you selfless? At the end of the day, you have to be selfless to the people that are investing in you. 
I know that you can't. It's it's hard to yeah, it's hard to not that. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you're there to help these people out. Yeah. There's a reason why they're making that investment. Yeah. It's it's they're making that investment for themselves. You know, utilizing your expertise as the personal trainer. Yep. So you you hit on one thing when you're talking to you you use the word personal, right? Personal trainer, personal. So I want to talk about that. So, you know, when you and I used to train, we would always feed off of each other. You know, I would ask you questions when it comes to, you know, personal mm-hmm. training, some of the nutrition stuff. And then you would always ask me questions about, you know, peptides and mm-hmm. the blood work. And, you know, you got a client that's experiencing this and, you know, th- you send them over to do blood work. And, you know, it, it made me realize that you have something that we need at Wikovita for our clients and vice versa, your clients need what we offer out of the wellness center, mm-hmm. right? And one of the things that is um, always missing that I've noticed that's missing in the world of personal training, especially in these big box gyms, those type of personal trainers, is that everything is almost like cookie cutter, mm-hmm. right? And they take that personal, where things are supposed to be personalized to the individual, they don't do that, mm-hmm. right? So one of the things that you and I have been able to create um, when you decided to move your, your studio next to Liquavita, when that opportunity came about and you built up that beautiful location next to Liquavita, is we, we, we've been able to create a personalized approach for every individual client, right? A personalized approach with their fitness, their nutrition, and also all of the diagnostics alongside with all of their supplementation, peptides, and everything else. So I want to talk more about that because I see how our clients are, are gaining tremendous benefit from this, right? Because that for years, our, our clients, you know, they can inject themselves with all the peptides in the world, but if you're not moving your body and you're not doing the appropriate exercises, building up your core, you know, focusing on your nutrition, what you're intaking, it, it doesn't matter how many peptides you inject yourself, you, you're not going to get the results you want mm-hmm. from your body. Yep, that's you know? the disclaimer. And vice versa. Mm-hmm. You know, your clients, they can train all they want, but if they're not figuring out, uh, you know, what, what goals they should be working on internally, they're not going to see the results just by working out. So so tell me a little bit like a story of, of someone that you've experienced, one of your clients, throughout this relationship with Wikimedia, and like what kind of benefits have you seen as, you know, the coach, um, and what, what kind of benefits have they seen results-wise? Certainly. Yeah, there's been a number of our, our active members um, that have, you know, utilized our services to begin with and that I've referred to uh, Liquavita for, um, you know, for some wellness checkup. Um, that, there's a few that, that are in my mind right now, but um, probably I would say 60, 70 year old uh, range, um, you know, sedentary lifestyle overall, had been with me for about five or six months, training pretty pretty consistently at least three days a week, two to three days a week. Um, you know, without going down the barrel of the health history, they, you know, had kind of a unhealthy childhood, if you will. Right. Um, alcohol, saturated fats, uh, fast foods, etc. And it didn't dawn on me, you know, it still didn't it didn't dawn on me at the time that all of the time all the past 40, 50 years, you know, we think of just time, but we don't really understand what that's like inside of our body right you know we're, we're just packing in all this junk and all this shit for just so many years without yeah. moving or sweating or excreting any of these toxins and the couple that the two that i'm thinking of are you know kind of apprehensive to the functional medicine curve and kind of where that industry is is, is kind of at right now or the stigma that may have or not but when I brought them over there, we, you know, did the comprehensive, uh, well, um, sorry, blood panel for them. And, uh, you know, we found all these uh, deficiencies and all these uh, allergies that would, they were, you know, experiencing, right? yeah, experiencing for years that they had no idea of. And you just by removing certain, um, you know, certain things and adding or replacing, they were able to, you know, within just a few weeks, just reduce their body fat, their overall visceral fat. Our cardiovascular health was much better. Their, you know, VO two was much better, and their performance in their daily life just 
you know, increased, improved. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And, and that, that's part of, like, I, I always say data is everything, right? No. We, we trust in God. Everything else has to produce data. Mm-hmm. So when you have that quantifiable data where you can trend exactly what's happening with your client, on our end, on the, on the clinical side, it's fantastic because we know that we're making a change. And same thing with you, when you have that data and you can actually see the, the true full body composition analysis, unlike before, you guys used to do, do a body, how, how was it? The caliper. The caliper. Or, yeah. And it doesn't give you the exact data like a DEXA scan, where now you can actually see, you know, man, this guy, look, his internal fat, that visceral fat went from this percent all the way down to this. Right. His chances of having cardiovascular disease or some other kind of chronic illness mm-hmm. has reduced tremendously. You know, so so those things to me are extremely important. So I'll be a little bit of like the process that like when you get a new client, now that you know, we have this established relationship that, that's not as easy to find when someone goes into a personal uh, training studio. Mm-hmm. Tell me of the process of like how does it start? How do you how do you actually educate this client? To actually bring them over to the to the wellness center, to the Wikipedia side, and put them through that process. Sure. How, how does that work? So when uh, a new guest enters our door, the first thing we take them through is a very thorough initial health evaluation or assessment. Um, just kind of diving into their health history, what kind of got them here, what their strengths are, what their you know what their goals are particularly, and kind of understanding a little bit about their daily life, you know, daily routine habits. And from there, you kind of, you know, put a story together as far as whether well, the beginner, intermediate or advanced, uh, as far as from a fitness level. Um, and then there's certain things in our questionnaires that we specifically ask to correlate or to kind of refer the information with Liquivita and the staff there, um, specifically cardiovascular health. I, um, you know, you'd be surprised how many people are extremely stressed out with no sleep and the resting heart rate is above 80, 90 beats per minute. Wow. And they're, you know, yeah. young individuals for the most part. That's not good. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the process or, you know, the conversation from working on outside of your body, because that's most of our members want to look good on the outside. Um, we're kind of, you know, changing that and making them look or look deeper into the in, internal Right. inside of right. the body so with that information we you know bring them next door and, and do just that go through the dexa scan do the blood panels do the you know go go through the whole go country once okay. program yeah um but it really is just an eye opener that our stores are next to each other and people really don't you know for the most part i don't want to say care what goes on, on the inside but if they really knew what the inside looked like they yeah. pay more attention to it. It opens up their eyes. Like they, they start realizing it's like, oh man, mm-hmm. like I, I got to really work on some of these things. I yeah. got to change some of my habits. You know, mm-hmm. I got maybe I got to stop smoking. Maybe I got to start eating a little bit cleaner. You know, and, and do it in conjunction with the personal training. Mm-hmm. Which obviously, you know, you as as a personal trainer coach for a lot of these individuals, especially where we're located, it's a very affluent area. Mm-hmm. Um. I can only imagine the results that you're seeing from your patients having this additional data mm-hmm. where you can really see what's going on with, with your client. And it, it gives you a, an additional step where you can create even a further personalized approach for what you're gonna do and recommendations for their diet and what they should be eating. Mm-hmm. Do you use any kind of like apps uh, w- with your clients? Yeah, we uh, so we pretty much are fueled with Technogym. They have a, you know, a suite of digital uh, services. But that's all that, uh, all that yeah. unique equipment that yeah, you have. Yeah. Is, yeah, you had like the whole executive team come down and yeah. check out the facility. Yeah, down Italy. yeah. So beautiful stuff. Yeah, I mean, state of the art equipment. Um, so the manufacturer themselves have an app that we integrate actually with the in body. Okay. Um, so we can upload assessments, upload measurements, upload their, their workouts. We can prescribe them exercises or workouts to do on their own. Um, from a fitness standpoint, from nutrition, we recommend them to my fitness pal. It's been, you know, very straightforward and, uh, very easy and, you know, for the, for the average user to use. So we've been sticking by that. 
Um, but other than that, our target demographic, as you said, what the area we're in, some of the tech is kind of just <laughs> flew right over them. Yeah. So I have I've kind of peeled back on how much digital. Yeah. You, you, it it requires a little bit of hand holding with the whole yeah. client. Yeah. So, so the, but the app that, that you have, does that also integrate with like some of the wearables like Apple Watch, yep. or Ring? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yep. That's yep. awesome. I have a Garmin watch. Uh, many of the popular apps also integrate with it, like Strava, uh, Fitness Pal. Again, like I can mention the Apple Watch hooks up to it. Okay, so oh, health app. Mm-hmm. And, and I bet you got some of those clients that are just like they're they want to know. Die hearts. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're texting me up. They're uh, almost like us, right? Oh yeah. They're <laughs> they're like... We want to know everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I got a couple in mind right now. Which is good that that you at least have the ability to offer them that you know obviously with the older clientele you know technology is not their best friend mm-hmm. but when you actually have that available to be able to give these people the, the optimal results that's it man that, that, that's fantastic and we're using the heart rate monitors within the facility okay um, what what is that for like what how are you using the heart rate monitors? yeah it's a good question I wanted to make a point on that because there's you know, Orange Theory, there's a lot of studios that are using it to focus in a fat or to be burning or to be working at a particular percentage or a particular uh, fat loss percentage or heart rate percentage, sorry. Uh, while that is very important for us, we're really focused on how, A, how where the heart rate spikes initially under exercise or after physical activity, but how quickly it comes down. So okay. measuring the health of the heart. Not so much burning fat at this particular zone, but if you're in that zone after you stop working out for the next 20 minutes, then you got a problem. Your body's not like recovering. Yeah, your body's working way too hard. Yeah, too much. Way too hard. That's interesting you say that. So, you know, obviously, uh, my my partner and chief medical officer of the company is Dr. Christopher Davis, who's an interventional cardiologist. You know, he he's, speaks a lot on that. And I remember our former chief medical officer, which unfortunately passed away, um, Dr. Robert Willix was my mentor. Mm-hmm. I remember he used to actually, exactly what you're saying, he would actually bring that up with, with his patients. And he would actually, um, after they did, let's say, like a VO2 max, he would get their heart rate and look at exactly what you're talking about to see what it was came back mm-hmm. down. And he would tell them, hey, let me just tell you right now. And he would pull out a calculator and tell you, you're, you're, you're misusing right you're overusing mm-hmm. x amount of heartbeats no. for a year right and the number was crazy that's pretty crazy where, where all of a sudden he says listen your heart to begin with only has x amount of beats mm-hmm. it's just like anything else you know wear and tear eventually it's going to give up mm-hmm. you know and he would say it's like don't overwork your heart Right, you got to do certain things and keep that heart rate down, especially that rested heart rate. Mm-hmm. Because if not, you're wasting heartbeats. So the fact that you do that and monitor heart rate and everything else mm-hmm. is phenomenal. Yep. It's fantastic. Yep. So that that's important. that's very important. Mm-hmm. Very important. So w- what are some of the things that you're looking towards, uh, especially now it's a new year, right? Um, and I know you're very goal goal oriented. Mm-hmm. And uh, you don't only establish goals for your clients, but you establish a lot of goals for yourself. And I know that because you're consistently reaching out to me, hey, what are we going to do? Let's do this. Let's do this event. This this upcoming year, like, what 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 is in it for us? Mm-hmm. So this upcoming year, obviously, is going to be a stem off of the last year, which was our opening year, you know, our first year in Fort Lauderdale. It's a new location. And, just, you know, just kind of dealing with everything that it came with from being delayed to opening to uh, delays in permits to staffing to budgeting, et cetera. So kind of working out all the kinks and kind of dialing in on a strong team, which we have a really strong team behind us right now and really dialing into our target market and our local outreach. Okay. So, you know, kind of the theme for this year is really just getting outside my comfort zone like and that. aware in a sense that I'm kind of put in positions like this to speak and kind of broadcast my knowledge and my passion for the industry, um, but also to make connections and to, to create, you know, partnerships in the industry that I know are credible, um, credible companies in the industry that I can back my name against and vice versa. 
So developing those strategic relationships this year is going to be crucial. Uh, that was awesome. And we're going to be implementing some um, some new services. Um, Can you speak at them yet? Or? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No, I don't want to overcommit. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to overcommit. Um, Under promise and over deliver. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but they are going to include Liquivita, you know. Awesome. So awesome. the the comprehensive package of the program that we're you know we're putting together, yeah. uh, we're hoping to launch this quarter, first quarter, and. You know, we're really hoping to capitalize on the, you know, the partnership that you know you and I have formed and tie the two stores together and you know just really yeah. create the best healthy life for our customers. Yeah, that's the truth. That relationships is everything. Um, one of the things that I see for this year that I told you about is, and I'm plugging us all in, is you know with Rob Fletcher with you know Muscle and Fitness. Uh, he's on the Muscle and Fitness Plus pod, podcast. Mm -hmm. He's he's the host of the talk show is is bringing what you and i do together which we've created this wonderful thing and be able to educate other trainers and, and be the ones that are kind of spearheading it for the industry nationally mm -hmm. you know so there's going to be some education that comes by and um you know we'll be working together on that so i got a few meetings with a few of these organizations that you know i'm going to bring you in on so i i, I truthfully think that doing what we're doing is really giving that that client that overall service for their health you know they're getting it on the clinical side they're getting it um, mindset wise nutrition side physical training side and um this is what people need mm -hmm. so they can get the results so um all right so time for a little bit of fun facts mm -hmm. about yourself um you're big into exercise and, and you know health and wellness what are your things that you love doing for yourself health and wellness wise well, wow, that's a great question. So, fun fact would probably have I just picked up playing tennis. Tennis. Yeah. yeah. Your mom uh, plays. My tennis. mom's yeah, plays forever. Big, I've made fun of her for years. Like, play a real sport. You know, I always <laughs> just used to rag on her. She's played over twenty years. I just recently picked it up, maybe six months ago. Okay. Um, and kind of what we were speaking about before. You know, coming from an athletic background, I just kind of I just picked it up one day, and I'm obsessed with it. Nice. Uh, not only for the, the physical feats, but just the mental escape. Right. There's so much noise during the day that, man, I wouldn't call it noise. There's just a lot. A lot going to on. Pay, exactly. You got to be able to disconnect overcome. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So just not having to make any decisions and not having to, you know, be on a, a, a specific schedule. Um, just chasing that yellow ball around for a couple hours. Like I'm, I'm bramble. So a little fun fact. And I like yoga. I love doing yoga. Yeah, you know, people have been telling me that I need to do yoga, and I do want to do it, and I just got to commit to it. Mm -hmm. it. You know, initially I was like, man, I'm gonna be in this thing where everybody knows how to do all these crazy <laughs> positions, and I'm not gonna know how to do any of it. Yeah. Um, but people tell me it's not like that. So you do the the regular yoga or hot yoga? Uh, I do both. If I had to choose, I'd do the uh, regular. The regular? Yeah. Why is that? Um, me personally, I kind of get a little distracted with how sweating, how much, how sweaty I actually am in these hot yoga classes. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just, it's too much. It's just too much. Yeah. yeah it's just to the point. Yeah. Leaking everywhere. It feels amazing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. The heat mixed with, you know, obviously, you know, breathing and allowing your muscles to warm and, and lengthen that way. But, uh, man, you're just literally just sitting in the puddle. That's so, right. Yeah. And I'm just trying to, <laughs> just getting a downward dog here. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So Danny, Go ahead and leave us off with one thing to tell the listeners that they really need to consider for their health and wellness and their fitness goals. I would say the consideration needs to be if you're resistant to starting because of financial commitment or uh, added expense, um, the thought process behind that needs to shift towards it being an investment in your health and the longevity of your life to live a happy, longer, and healthy life. And realize that you only got one, you have one body. You got one shot, you got one life, you have one way to make it healthy and operate until to its optimal performance. Um, so it really needs to be looked at as an investment in your, in your health versus, you know, just added expenses. Because we nice. hear that often. I mean, you know, it's daily, we're rebuttaling pricing and oh, I can find it cheaper or yeah. It's always price. Don't negotiate with your health. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, it's it's your health. And if you know you can't do it on your own, that's worth being yeah. husband. I agree. 
So Danny, where can people find you? I'm at the Fit Training Studio, Fort Lauderdale Beach, um, 3712 North Ocean Boulevard. And I'm there Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're open Saturdays, 8 to 12 p.m. Social media, what's your handles? Danny underscore DFIT uh, is my personal. And the business page, uh, our gym is DFIT Training Studio. I love it, Danny. Love it. So, guys, just remember health is wealth. Mm -hmm. The most important currency in the world is your health. Because without it, you got nothing else, right? In all of us, it doesn't matter if you're a professional athlete, it doesn't matter if you're the top business owner, we all have accountability components, we have mentors, we have coaches to hold us accountable, to get us to the next level, right? We have a fitness expert, Danny Pham with DFIT, all right? He's got all of the great trainers. Make sure you follow him, tune in to more content we have coming, all right? So that was today's episode with D fit make sure you go ahead follow subscribe share do all of the good stuff and then check us out for the next one